Hi guys, welcome back to Fragments of a Simple Life, where every video I make is super simple. Today I'm going to be going through my DVD and Blu-ray collection for you. This is just a small example of some of the movies I own. I will be pulling about 12 from this collection so I can share them with you in more detail. Um, I have enough DVDs to do a video like this many, many times over, but I just wanted to give you a quick look at my garage because it's actually a shelf in my garage. And in the next scene, we will be going over 12 different DVDs in a little more detail, some of my favorite ones. Okay guys, we are back in my house and I apologize once again if you can hear the sound of a cough drop. It's preventing my cough. The first movie I have here to show you guys is a movie called I Love You Man, starring Paul Rudd and Jason Siegel. It's a comedy movie. It's rated R and it came out in 2009. This is just a regular DVD, not a Blu-ray. It's really really quite funny. It says, in this wildly funny hit comedy, Paul Rudd gets engaged to the girl of his dreams, but doesn't have a single guy friend to be his best man until he meets the ultimate dude, Jason Siegel. Rudd and Siegel's bromance takes male bonding to hilarious new heights in a story that comically explores what it truly means to be a friend. And this is Rashida Jones, which is the daughter of Quincy Jones, if you don't know who she is. I really like this movie. It makes me and my husband laugh um, every single time we've ever seen it. This particular copy has deleted scenes, extended scenes, and a gag reel that is almost as funny as the actual movie. If you have not seen this, I highly recommend it. It is the kind of movie that you could see over and over again, and you would still think that it was funny. I've seen it, gosh, probably at least eight times. Okay. The next movie I have for you is one of my all-time favorites, and it's way older. This is a Johnny Depp movie with Mary Stuart Masterson and Aiden Quinn called Benny and June. She's June. She's Benny. Both of them are quirky individuals. She has special needs in some way, but I don't remember if it ever says what she actually has. It says Johnny Depp, Mary Stuart Masterson, and Aiden Quinn star in this wonderfully unique and delightfully off beat romantic comedy. June is a little unbalanced. Sometimes, without warning, her sweet nature gives way to odd behavior, including a... <laughs> she sets fires. I forgot all about that. She lives with her older brother, Benny, who has spent his life taking care of her since their parents died. One night, while playing a poker game, with unusual stakes, June loses her hand and she wins Sam, which is Johnny Depp. A whimsical misfit who soon charms his way into June's heart. Now if only they can find the perfect mate for her overprotective brother. It's a comedy. It's serious. Um, it's definitely... What do they call it? Like a dramedy when it's um, a little bit of both. It's one hour and 38 minutes. And this movie came out in 1993. But it's kind of a timeless classic to me. Um, if you have never seen Benny and June, I recommend it. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you cry. It'll make you cheer for the unique people in your life. Um, 
just a good movie. Highly, highly recommend it. The next movie I have is a holiday favorite in our house. This is Elf. Starring Will Ferrell and James Caan. It's a Christmas movie. But every year in my family, we watch it um, on Thanksgiving. Um, that's usually when we start um, Christmas decorating, is during the long Thanksgiving weekend. And every time we pull out the Christmas decorations, we also make sure to pull out this movie. And we always decorate our tree while Elf plays in the background. If you haven't seen it, this is what it's about. Once upon a Christmas Eve, an orphan baby crawled into Santa's bag of gifts and was taken to the North Pole. Raised by Papa Elf, which is Bob Newhart, Buddy, which is Will Ferrell, comes to realize he doesn't fit in with the other elves. Determined to find a place where he belongs, Buddy searches for his real dad in New York City. In the Big Apple, Buddy finds out why his dad, which is James Caan, is on the naughty list. But most importantly, he sees that the world is seriously lacking in Christmas spirit, which causes Santa all kinds of problems. So with the help of a beautiful department store elf played by Zoe Deschanel, this was back when no one knew who Zoe Deschanel was, now she's pretty famous. But he tries to teach his dad and the world the true meaning of Christmas spirit and to prove to everyone that Santa, which is Ed Eisner, really exists. And this is just a DVD. This movie is rated PG, so it's perfect for my kids. There's no cursing or anything like that. It's just a really fun um, movie to watch. And it's nice to watch a movie sometimes during the holidays um, as adults that's, a, that's not a cartoon and that has like a more modern spin. And this is a really good story. It has a really good storyline. So that's part of um, our holiday traditions. Now I'm going to take it way, way back to when I was like, not quite a baby, but very young. This is Steven Spielberg's The Goonies. I feel like everybody should have a copy of this in their DVD collection. If you haven't seen it, um, that sucks. <laughs> you should have seen it 20 times by now. Um, I'll read you what it's about. From the imagination of Steven Spielberg, the Goonies plunges a band of small heroes into a swashbuckling, surprise run every corner quest beyond their wildest dreams, follow a mysterious treasure map into a spectacular underground realm of twisting passages, outrageous booby traps, and a long lost pirate ship full of golden doubloons. The kids race to stay one step ahead of a family of bumbling bad guys and a mild-mannered monster with a face only a mother could love. A family adventure classic from start to buccaneering finish, The Goonies is a cinematic treasure trove of breathtaking action, dazzling effects, and shiver-your-timbers thrills. This is P.G. Um, this movie came out in 1985, and I was born in 83, so I didn't get to, like, really appreciate it until, um, I might have been seven when this movie actually <laughs> made it into my house so I could watch it. I was a little bit too young, obviously, being two years old when it came out, but I care about it now, and I own it now, and... Growing up, I've watched this movie hundreds of times. I'm not even joking. I'm kind of in the mood to watch it. Maybe I will today. 
my husband's home from work. A deliciously dizzy adventure with crowd pleasing fun. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. And if you have watched it, isn't it fantastic? That's Goonies. Goonies never say die. The next movie is one of my all time favorites and it's a very serious movie. Billy Bob Thornton in Sling Blade. An extraordinary performance, says Roger Ebert. This is the exclusive director's cut. It has bonus material in it. And this was the, um... I apologize, guys. I had to pause the movie for a coughing attack. Anyways, Academy Award winner for the Best Adapted Screenplay in 1996. And also, Billy Bob Thornton won the Academy Award that same year, 1996, for Best Actor. If you have ever seen this movie, um, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. He was completely unrecognizable. I was like, who is that? I don't recognize this actor. Um, he transformed, I think, in one of the most remarkable ways um, to play this character that I've ever seen in any movie. Like, ever. It says, the Miramax Collector series proudly presents this two-disc release of the powerful motion picture, <clears throat> sorry guys, applauded by critics and moviegoers alike. Written, directed, and starring Billy Bob Thornton. It's 25 years after committing an unthinkable crime. A quiet man named Carl, which is Billy Bob Thornton, is finally returning home. Once there, he is befriended by a fatherless boy and his mother. But when his newfound peace is shattered, by the mother's abusive boyfriend, Carl is suddenly placed on a collision course with his past. It says Sling Blade is an unforgettable movie experience, which is 100% true. I've never known another movie like this. Um, if you have not seen this movie, please find it, rent it, buy it. Maybe Amazon has it, I'm not sure, but highly, highly recommend it. Okay, we still have about half the stack to get through. We'll switch gears a little bit to something funny. <laughs> this is actually a Blu-ray of a movie called Bridesmaids. This is an unrated version. Um... This movie is gross and funny and stupid and amazing and it's all women in the cast, well the majority is women, um, strong, powerful, comedic actresses and if you like stupid comedy the way I do, um, you'll love this. I don't know, I just love it. It says 30-something Annie, which is Kristen Wiig, she used to be on Saturday Night Live, has a hit of rough, has hit a rough patch, but finds her life completely turned upside down when she takes on the maid of honor role in her best friend Lillian, which is Maya, Maya Rudolph's wedding. And way over her head, but determined to succeed, Annie leads a hilarious hodgepodge of bridesmaids on a wild ride down the road to the big event. Um, I can't even explain this movie. Like, if you kind of like gross humor and you think that any of these women are, are funny, if you think that Silent Live is funny, um, I just recommend this movie. It's great. I can't say anything bad about it. I've seen it several, several times and it was, um, a movie that was totally worth the purchase to me. Um, yeah, I love it. 
And I'm actually glad they haven't come out with the Bridesmaids 2. I feel like sometimes sequels um, ruin things and um, I like that movie just the way it is. Now this movie is quite different. This is the number 23. This is uh, actually a serious like psychological thriller and I don't know if you could tell by that picture or if you've seen this movie before but that's Jim Carrey. Like the guy from The Mask, the funny comedian. This movie stars him. It says unrated, the truth will find you. Um, this movie's not funny at all. It's dark and it makes you think and it's kind of scary and it's um, bizarre. I haven't seen it in a really long time but I was just talking about it with my husband so I thought you know why don't I pull this movie out share it and then leave it out and I can actually watch it. It says Jim Carrey and Virginia Madis Madsen star in the year's most mind-bending psychological thriller <clears throat> directed by Joel Schumacher. The nightmare begins when Walter Sparrow, which is Jim Carrey, a mild-mannered dog catcher, begins reading a tattered used book called The Number 23. Obsessed by the countless similarities between the degenerate main character and himself, Walter plunges headlong into the same dark, seductive world. When the book's main character commits an unspeakable act, Walter is terrified that he's destined to follow the same twisted path. I don't want to say too much about this movie without giving it away, but if you like psychological thrillers, if you like movies that make you think, if you like movies that are um, mildly scary, um, and make you question life, basically, I highly, highly recommend this movie as well. It's Jim Carrey, um, like you've never seen him before, like you'll never see him before again. Okay, this movie <laughs> is like the definition of my gross humor. I definitely have like guy humor, as they say. Um, I don't know. I think cussing and stupid gross stuff is funny. I, just, I don't know. I grew up with brothers. What can I say? But this is Will Ferrell and John C. Riley in the unrated widescreen version of Step Brothers. It says they grow up so fast. The funniest movie I've seen this year. Um, this is one of the funniest movies I've seen in my whole entire life. Like, I just can't. The chemistry between these two, they play stepbrothers. Um, his mom and his dad marry each other, and even though they're grown adults, um, they move in together with their parents, and they don't like each other at first, but then they become, like, best friends. It's just, I cannot explain it. It says Brennan, which is Will Ferrell, and Dale, which is John C. Riley are two middle-aged loafers who are forced to live together when their parents get married. When the reluctant step-siblings' immature antics over TV privileges and personal property take their toll on the marriage, the devious, duo, excuse me, the devious duo hatch a hysterical scheme to reunite the couple. From the people he brought in Talladega Nights and Anchorman, Step Brothers is hilarious comedy which proves you don't need brain or talent to succeed. Well, maybe you do. And it's just funny. This picture right here of them as a family is hilarious. It's like a Christmas photo. It's just, it's not a movie to be taken seriously at all. It's just a good time, really stupid, but like in the best way kind of movie. Again, if you like gross humor or what they call guy humor, um, the way that I do, um, I recommend this movie. I pretty much like anything starring Will Ferrell. I know some people feel differently, but I think he's one of the funniest comedians of my generation. 
Okay. The next movie I have is actually um, another comedy, and this is the DVD and Blu-ray version. It's Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston in Wanderlust. It says hilarious from start to finish. And it is. Um, this movie is different, you know. It's a comedy, but at the core, it has some real serious life issues type stuff. Um, it's just good. It's really good. I'll read it to you. Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston star in this laugh out loud comedy about leaving it all behind. After George loses his high stress Manhattan job, he and his wife, Linda, which is Jennifer Aniston, hit the road and wind up crashing at Elysium, a free spirited community of hippies, tree huggers, and the occasional nudist. Featuring an all star ensemble cast, including Justin Throw. Malin Ackerman, Alan Alda, he plays like the leader. Wanderlust has more laughs than I've had at the movies in a very long time. It's just funny, but it's also kind of like a coming of age story about a couple who is reaching middle age and looking for change and about trying to keep up with the Joneses and how sometimes it just doesn't work out um, the way you want it to and you know sometimes you need a change and sometimes change is good and that's really what the movie is about if you've seen it you know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it go get it Paul Rudd by the way is another actor that I think is one of the funniest dudes I've ever seen in anything the next movie I have is very serious, Rain Man. Who is not familiar with Rain Man? One of the best movies of all time, starring Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. It won Best Picture in 1988. This is another movie that is just a little bit younger than I am. <laughs> we are old together, winner of four Academy Awards. Funny, heartbreaking, tender, and complex, says The Hollywood Reporter. Says Dustin Hoffman is a triumph in the Oscar winning role, and Tom Cruise is terrific in a film that is fascinating, touching, and full of smart surprises. Charlie Babbitt, which is Tom Cruise, has just discovered he has an autistic brother named Raymond, which is Dustin Hoffman, and is now taking him on the ride of his life. Or is it the other way around? From his refusal to drive on major highways to the four minutes to Wapner meltdown at an Oklahoma farmhouse, Raymond first pushes hot-headed Charlie to the limits of his patient, patience and then pulls him completely out of his self-centered world. But what begins as an unsentimental journey for the Babbitt brothers becomes much more than the distance between two places. It is a connection between two vastly different people and a poignant, profound, and powerful film. 2 hours and 14 minutes, 1988, rated R. This movie just touches me. I know what it's like to have a brother that's different and to run out of patience and to, um... To try your best and um, I just love this movie there's no way you can watch this and be unaffected no matter who you are or where you are in life it's just that good okay guys I have one last movie in this mini collection to share and that is the never-ending story we are all part of a never-ending story. This is a Warner Brothers movie. It's old as well. I don't know when this came out. It's 92 minutes long. Here we go. 1984. Rated PG. This movie is one year younger than me. So this is another situation where I probably didn't see this for the first time. 
until it was already technically kind of old. Like I was probably like six or seven. So it says, when young Bastion borrows a mysterious ornately bound book he never dreamed, turning a page would draw him into a shimmering fantasy world of racing snails, hang gliding bats, soaring love dragons, puckish elves, a childlike empress, that's her, the brave warrior Atreyu, and a slab-faced walking quarry called the Rockbiter. Follow the never-ending story to the limits of the imagination thanks to director and co-writer Wolfgang Peterson and a superstar team of technical tinkers and magicians who bring to life the most delightful characters ever. You'll cherish this wide-eyed adventure and discover the never-ending story is your story. I'm pretty sure there are sequels to this that I saw but did not care about as much as I cared about the first one. Um, nothing beats it. Nothing beats the characters. Love Dragon. Treyu. I even have fond memories of Nightmares of Gamork, which if you've seen this movie, you know who I'm talking about. And he's terrifying when you're a small kid. But this movie is definitely a piece of my childhood. I wanted to be the childlike empress. Um, and this movie instills imagination and a little bit of fear, which is quite the combination when you're a small kid. Anyways, guys, that is it for this miniature collection of DVDs. I believe it was 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, maybe I counted wrong. Alright. I hope I showed you a little bit of who I am from the movies that I picked the movies that I own, and I definitely have enough movies to do this, like, eight more times. <laughs> if you like this movie, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yes, I know I just said movie, I meant video. I will see you guys in the next one, and hopefully I will have a little more voice than I do right now. Thanks for watching, guys.